So what we're going to be throwing today, I'm going to be throwing these, this finesse TRD, the green pumpkin, one of the Z-Man baits. I've got a red head here I'm going to tie on it. Most of these fish have been staying in about 20 feet of water, so that's where we're going to be kind of focusing today. Uh, it's a little windy, but not, not near as bad as it has been. So we're, we're hoping we'll be able to get out of the wind a little better today than the last few days for sure. So I'm going to get rigged up. Got a eight pound test on here. I'm throwing Bass Pro, the, uh, their camouflage series line. Looking forward to another good day with Bobby Gentry out here on Del Hollow Lake. That's what they look like. Yeah, that's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what's called professional overlay right here. Professional overlay. That's all it is. The coffee pot. I think you need to have a coffee pot hole. Well, the coffee pot on the bass boat? Yeah. One of them. Put the cups in. For Keurig. I've been looking for a battery powered Keurig. And I can find battery powered everything but a Keurig. And it takes a filter and all that. I want a Keurig where I can just drop the thing in like you're talking about. Manufacturers, listen up. Bobby Gentry's got the next, next great idea. I always did a coffee pot on a bass boat. I mean, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. Somebody step up, make the Bobby Gentry signature series coffee pot. We'll sell it, we'll use it, we'll show it, we'll sure use it. We need a coffee pot. Seen on the southern wood. Pretty, pretty little smallmouth here. Another fish on a Ned rig. Little craw color. Yeah, we're in about 18 feet of water here. And uh, starting to pick some fish up down this bank. We'll let this one back, get us another one. What we've been doing, Mike, was Trying to move around a little bit, find some post spawns. 
a small mound. Typically this time of year they'll be up around this end of these trees, around this wood. And you've got several options. You've got spinner bait or you've got swim bait or if them fish are setting down tight to that bottom up around them trees, sometimes a Ned rig will work pretty good on them. But now I'm going to be honest, it's, it's been very difficult with the wind conditions we've had. And uh, it's, we've not had any consistent barometric pressure. It's been constantly changing. We, uh, we have had high winds, and it's just been a plug and hunt kind of few days. And that's kind of what we've run into today. Uh, you can't really give up on your, your plan. You just kind of have to keep a hook in the water and keep it moving. Well, the swim bait's been pretty productive for us. We've been using a four inch with a three eighths ounce head trying some post spawn areas and typically you're going to catch a few fish throughout the day. It just a lot of depends on your weather conditions where you can get out on the on the lake in the spots that you want to fish. What uh, what have we been fishing? We've been fishing rock, gravel, transition to we've dirt clay? Some, yeah we've done some gravel uh, between clay and rock transitions. Of course your crawfish are spawning and uh, you know, you've got you've got all this food source for these fish. It's no lack of food for them right now. Your shad spawning right now. They're typically on some of these rock walls. So we've been fishing some transitions between the rock and some of this clay, which that's a, a double shot of opportunity for food for the fish. So that usually increases your odds tremendously. But now there's days with these fronts changing. It's the time of day or the time that they're feeding. And I think we've got fish that's moved out deeper. They're, some of these fish maybe be feeding at night. You know, you really, really don't know until you're out here fishing. You have a mixed bag of ideas on what to do this time of year. Well, you also mentioned um, the crawfish right now. You pretty much believe in keeping up with crawfish? It, yeah, more, more so with my color, my crawfish too. They change with moon phases. They change with water temperature. Uh, as far as your color presentation, uh, out of the past 25, 30 years, you've got kind of a standard crawfish pattern that if you're going to use that, you know, you're going to pretty much be on it. But the size, the size of your baits is important too. Uh, I, that's why I've stuck with what I've been doing on the swim bait with the three eighths with the, you know, get it down and fish it ever how deep I want to by my retrieve. Hooked up. Good job, Brandon. Brandon hooked up on the net rig. Well, that's a beauty right there. <laughs> I switched to that crawl color, Ned. What we're doing, guys, I'm staying just enough. Just enough in this wind. Nineteen inches. I uh, switched colors just a little bit. I'm throwing this crawl color dead now, and uh, that's about the fifth cast I've thrown with it. Boys are pretty color. Yeah, All right, let's put her back in.
It's a little better fish than that last one. It's a little better. It's like he ate that swim bait, too. Flat tuck that in there. That's about a 19. Yeah. Got him. Good deal. That's good one. Ah, Throw it on me. Hey. Bobby hooked up here. Get it on, Brian. I had my camera rolling the whole time. All right. Another brown fish. Another Mark. brown one. Some of these brown fish down through here. Good fish, Bobby. Good catch. Swim bait fish. Swim bait. Too. A, lot of, a lot of these fish that we're picking up are on transition banks, so right now we're going from a clay bank to a gravel bank. There's gravel just ahead of us here, and that last biggest fish I caught, I caught right where a rock bank switched to a clay bank. So a lot of times with fish, you know, just like you would with, say, deer or something, you want to be looking for those transitions. You'll find a lot of fish in these transition areas. Cause just like it changes on the bank, it changes in the water. Flying fish. Sixteen inch? Uh, I don't know you. Uh, maybe seventeen, eighteen. I'll have to use that little. I want to be gentle with them. This one ain't hooked either. It's just hooked in that old thick part of her mouth. What are you catching those fish on, Brian? This is a Z Man. Crawl colored net bait. Another pretty fish here, guys. Nice coloration. I'd say it's about 16 inches, maybe 17 inches. 17 and a half. Good deal. Nice fish. Nice little fish. Right there on that point, I kept waiting to get to that point, and I come back to you boys because I was getting too far ahead, and there she was on that point. All right, girl, we appreciate you. All right. So this is the bait I've been using this afternoon. It's Drew's Crawl. Drew's Crawl, Z Man bait. And this color has really seem to be the ticket. Very natural color. So these are 2.75 inch, sometimes I'll use a three inch. But that's what we're throwing. I hadn't showed Bobby and Mike my secret sauce over here yet. I think Bobby's figuring me out now he's done seen me this time. 
desperate. <laughs> hey, that bite me, Shad Daddy. Tell you what. Look, now they done figured me out there back here talking bad about me back here now. Pretty good fish. Like a pretty good fish, Brian. Another great fish. That's old long fish there, Bobby. That's good, and that's 19, it's almost 20. Pretty fish, man. Throw on Ned Rig. Ned Rig's working right. for you today. Out here today, guys, we're with our buddy Bobby Gentry out here on Del Hollow Lake, and, and we always have such a great time out here, Bobby. And, and we tend to put fish in the boat, you know. Sometimes you have to fish around a lot. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, it ain't been easy today. You think sometimes we just go out and it just happens. And today's not been one of those days. It's been tough. We've had to run a lot. We've run a lot of fuel, haven't we, Bobby? We've run a lot of fuel. But with the fronts we've had and the weather and the way the conditions have been, you better be prepared to stay to catch fish. Yeah, I'm telling you, we've stuck with them today. And... Uh, it's really paid off here, here towards the end of the day. We've been able to put quite a few fish in the boat, some good quality fish. It's three that we've had that's been 19 or over and uh, had several shorter than that. Just another great day here on Del Holla with our buddy Bobby Gentry, Bobby Gentry's Del Holla Guide Service. Y'all give him a call, get in touch with him. You can get out here and catch some of these for yourself. You caught several on a swim bait today. Yeah. Swim bait's been good, and the Ned Rig, the reason I stuck with the swim bait a lot is to cover more water, because these fish are so spread out right now going into post period. Yeah, it's definitely, they're not bunched up. We had to move around to be able to find them, and uh, where we ended up finding most of our fish was actually near a river, uh, where a river bend was. Uh, There's probably 60, 65 foot of water behind us, and we were sitting in 18 to 24 foot of water. So it, it dropped quite a bit down in there, and the fish were coming up on those flats feeding. And that's how we were able to pick up most of our fish today. But again, we worked hard for them. This wasn't one of those deals where we just went out this afternoon and caught a bunch of fish and threw a show together quick. We really had to work for our fish today. So that's how it goes sometimes, guys. It's the real world, and, and uh, that's how we do it. You know, it's, we, uh, we have to get out there and fight for them just like y'all do some days. Bobby, tell everybody if they want to come in here and fish with you, how can they get in touch with you? Yes, uh, go to www.bobbygentry.com and you can do a Google search for Bobby Gentry Fishing. Uh, several locations, I've got several social media pages on my website. Don't feel like you got to hire me to ask me some questions because conditions change daily, sometimes hourly. So just give me a call at my number, 270-427-0419 and We'll help you any way I can. Be glad to. I just want to tell you too, if you guys have not had a chance to pick up Bobby's book yet, get that, check it out. It is a complete guide to fishing for these smallmouth fish on a year-round basis. You actually walk through the entire year. Uh, you put this book together with Ed Harp. A lot of you know uh, who Ed was. Uh, just a, a, a legend in the fishing community, especially in the riding community here. Uh, he's dearly missed, but I tell you what, him and Bobby put this book together and if you want something that you can sit down and read that'll walk you through the entire year on these lakes, like this one here at Del Hollow, yeah. it also fishes similar to Center Hill and, and, and several other local lakes, be sure to check that out. You can get that as well over on Bobby's, uh, you go see him on Facebook or check out the website and uh, get one of those books ordered. I guarantee you, you'll be glad you did. Uh, we're going to get wrapped up. It's been a long day. You can tell it's dark out here now. We got a couple hours to drive back home and we're going to get on out of here. But hey, we appreciate y'all tuning in like always. We'll see you right back here in just a minute in the studio with some more Southern Woods and Waters. We're going to have to wait a minute for the helicopter to swim over. Now we're competing with the truck and the helicopter. <laughs> 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 
take off your lip. You got stuff on your bottom lip anyway. Oh, me. Let's do that again. Take seven. To the, to the river channels coming up on the flats. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take 19. I'm sorry. We've had helicopters, dirt bikes, thought we was getting robbed. Yeah. Let's try. <laughs> <laughs>